Testing one, two, one, two. All right, we're live. Hi, guys. Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. I'd like to welcome you if it's your first time here to the channel. And a huge welcome back, of course, to all our awesome subscribers and regular viewers as well. Now, today we're talking about the Oculus Quest by Facebook. Uh, they're doing a new update, version 32, and apparently they're going to enhance some sharing files and all these kind of things. So, Let's transition over to the screen where the article is about. By the way, we don't own a Facebook Quest simply because we don't believe Facebook uh, are actually, you know, doing good for VR. And of course, you do need, little disclaimer, a Facebook login in order to use Facebook, which means they can basically uh, get all your data, everything that you do, uh, allegedly also through your cameras, uh, through the pass-through, and also record all your conversations that you have on the parties and all these kind of things, even though Facebook say on their uh, privacy policy, they don't use it for advertisers. So this is the disclaimer. Now, today's um, article on Upload VR, which is a trade industry uh, publication, talk about the next big update to the Oculus Quest platform. Oculus Quest version 32 will feature big improvements to meter sharing and Oculus Move. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg offered first details of the Quest version 32 update last Friday. In a post, he confirmed the update uh, will let you easily sync screenshots and screen recordings to your phone. So uh, here's the actual uh, screenshot. Let me just see if I can make it bigger. There we go. Um, by Zuckerberg. New Quest 2 update coming soon with Oculus Move improvements. Uh, to help you track fitness goals. Now, by the way, just uh, just in case you you didn't know this, if you're especially if you're new to the Quest ecosystem, uh, Oculus Move is a blatant copy to Your. They basically accepted Your on the platform to try and track all the data and see what the users were actually using the most, and you know where are the areas that they could actually poke the most and, and poach the most, you could say. And then they started Oculus Move, and the moment Oculus Move came out. Year was completely dethroned and no one really knows what's happening to Year now. But, you know, that's what Facebook does. So do be aware of that. All right, back to today's um, article. So Oculus Move basically gives you the same thing as what Year used to give you, uh, all your data, your health and stuff, Messenger and in groups. Supernatural fitness community, uh, also new tools to easily sync screenshots and screen recordings to your phone. Now, personally, I do think it's great that, you know, uh, there is someone obviously taking the initiative in trying to show the others what potentially would be great to incorporate. So HP, Pico, HTC, Valve, you know, all these guys uh, and all the future people like Apple, Epson, Canon, uh, Virgil, you know, all the other guys working on, on VR headsets. When they come out with the software, then of course it can take the inspiration for all this and show people what it is that we are looking for uh, that will really spur more people into VR. So it's great that they're doing this. And I think if you're a competitor to Facebook and you're watching today's video, please take note. I think that's very important. Uh, all right, let's go back to the article. This could be a big step forward for Quest Media sharing capabilities, as in the past, it's been a big struggle to figure out how to get your content off the headset and onto other devices. Uh, well, when we used to own the Quest, what we would do is just you know, of course, drag and drop the files and do it that way. But yeah, of course, it's good to be able to attach something and just share it. Uh, everywhere else, elsewhere, the version 32 will bring improvements to Facebook's fitness tracking. All right, we know about this already. Uh, that's all we know about Quest 2 version 32 for now. Zuckerberg said uh, the update will come soon, uh, which hopefully means, you know, in another, whatever, next month maybe. We're very close to September now. Uh, by the way, guys, just so you know, do be prepared every time that there is an update with the Oculus Quest. What does this mean? It means bugs. Bugs will be coming too. So every time there's an update with the Oculus Quest, I don't advise you buy the Quest when there's an update about to happen because there will be bugs and those bugs generally take a couple weeks before they're fixed. Believe me, I've had the Quest for more than a year. I did close to 3,000. I gave close to 3,000 or 4,000 demos in Singapore. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. There's always bugs uh, when there's a new update for about 10 days. Uh, so, you know, you may want to refrain before you start buying your Quest at this time and point. And also, by the way, guys, there will be an Oculus Quest 3 coming out next year for sure, undoubtedly, because it's what Facebook does. So, you know, 
I'm just saying you want you may want to refrain buying the Quest 3 uh, for another let's say five or six months I'm sure it's going to come out within that time I'm absolutely sure of it because that's what Facebook does and they always repeat their old patterns now by the way guys there was Oculus Rooms that came out recently and honestly speaking I'm so gutted that they get so much publicity for something that honestly speaking again they just copy from other things and I want to show you that there are other platforms that are more or less better than the Oculus workrooms just just in case uh, let's transition over the first one is uh, Engage VR Engage VR is one of the most well-known platform you can use in this in the industry for doing all your collaborative things in VR it's absolutely amazing I really recommend you go and check it out uh, also Meet in VR now Meet in VR they have a free version but also a subscription paid version it's absolutely awesome I really love what they do these guys deserve more awareness I wish the other influencers Natey and uh, VR Oasis all these guys they stop focusing so much on, on clicks and stuff I think it would be great if they can go and feature all these other people um, another one is called Glue Glue is absolutely genius I love being in there I've done meetings myself in there I mean I've done meetings in all of them but I just love Glue it is paid you do have a subscription basis but enterprises should definitely consider Glue as well and also Spatial, Spatial do amazing things. Uh, you know, Spatial, again, they've been working with Facebook, but they're not owned by Facebook and Facebook don't have shares in Spatial. What's going to happen with Spatial? You know, they did the same thing with your... What's going to happen to Spatial? Spatial, what? They're going to be dethroned by Facebook now because they have their own. What's going to happen? We just don't know. But this is what Facebook does, unfortunately. So, you know, just, just some awareness there. And by the way, guys, uh, we did also publish... a. Uh, Another video yesterday, which was all about the best accessory brands in VR today for lens adapters and also for um, for face facial replacement covers. So go and check out that video because if you're looking for lens adapters and also for for knuckle grips and also for um, facial replacement covers for your Oculus Quest, then go and check out that video. It's a really cool video. It's going to give you the best brands in the video to buy those accessories in the industry today. So, so yeah, really interesting. Really interested. Guys, I really want to thank you guys. Let's go to the comments and welcome some of the new subscribers to the channel because it's thanks to you that this channel grows. And make sure you share this video also on LinkedIn, on Reddit, on Facebook, on Twitter, everywhere on social media so that we can grow the channel we're close to 10,000 subscribers guys so let's go and thanks some of you uh let's go to the uh the valve painting update video that we had launched last week i'd like to thank damon leonin world Hayes vr uh Evolicious for your comments and also let's go to this other video here which is all about the steam deck uh wireless update as well because the steam deck of course is going to be you're going to be able to use it with your quest as well um thanks to christian shill wester sorry if i didn't pronounce your name properly and general a for your comment also um and then let's go and welcome some of the guys who've just joined uh the channel so let's go to our youtube studio and then let's go to uh da, 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 recent subscribe subscribers very sorry, I have a mouth ulcer today, so I'm not talking very, very well. Very sorry about that. I'd like to welcome Ford, Alan, Sebastian, Bullock, Gescu, uh, Harsha, Holton, Cameron, Jose Luis, Quifan Ni, Ludwig, uh, Quadruple 6 1, Hasu 53, Nurki HA Mike, and Troy 3025. Guys, thank you so much for joining the platform. You guys are super awesome. As I mentioned, you're part of a community now that's close to 10,000 subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thank you for joining. Thank you for commenting, guys. You're just awesome. What can I tell you? All right, until next time, remember to like, subscribe, share, enable the bell notification so YouTube tells you in the video feed also that when we upload new videos, that'd be awesome. Until next time, I'll see you in the comments below and in another video. Bye, guys. Bye.